Here we have our H21 USB data logger as it's packaged from the factory. So this is the way it's received. We unpack it. The first thing we're going to see when we open the box is our quick start guide, which is basically we're, we're going to follow these steps to put the logger together. So here it is. Uh, basically, you, you want to familiarize yourself with this quick start guide before you go in the field. Put this aside. The data logger comes with four AA batteries. There's some silicone lubricant. There's some screws for mounting it to a post if you're going to do that. Also some uh, zip ties if you're going to mount it to a tripod. Or you could use the tripod clamps, which are not included in this device. There's also some plugs uh, to put in the, the cable gland holes, and we'll talk about that in a minute. Here's our data logger as it comes. Put the box aside here for a moment. Here's our data logger. This is the top. It's the bottom where the cables go in. The cable gland is already installed. You'll notice there are some, there are two holes here and also two slots. The holes are to accommodate the standard inch and five eighths clamps that are used with the onset tripod. And the slots are meant for tie wraps if you're going to use it uh, with some other, in some other mounting orientation. To open the box, there's a, a, a latch right here. Just flip that up. And there's the inside of the box. Here's the cable gland. You'll notice you can take, take this cable gland out. So you have basically slots. There's a little key. You can see that right here. That lines up here with this. And then there's again some there's grooves in the in the body here in the in the enclosure. And then there's uh, slots you can slide this into. And these these have um, slots in them so you can see if you bend them these open up so you can put your sensor cables in and we'll show you how we're going to do that so I have a smart sensor cable here so here are the smart sensor the five smart sensor jacks in the bottom of the data logger they plug into the standard RJ12 smart sensor um, connector that's on the end of the smart sensor uh, any of our smart sensors, you just pop it in, it plugs in like that. So to get it into the get it into the cable gland, you probably want to put a little of that silicone grease either on here or around here so it slides in better. You also want to put a little around the perimeter of this gland. But basically you just spread it apart, pop the cable in, close it up. And again, this will slide a lot easier if we have a little silicone on there and we'll just pop that into that channel we want to make sure to get it down in there nice and tight and then when we close the top we'll see it'll get pushed down into place just like that like so to put the batteries in we'll open up the battery pack so here we have our batteries. We want to make sure we put them in the right polarity. So the first one here is negative up, positive down, and then they alternate. And what you'll see, if you look very carefully, before I put the last one in, we'll see all of the LEDs light up temporarily, and then they'll go off. If you want to check to see if your batteries are good, you can simply just press and hold the start button provided it's not logging of course and you, you may or may not be able to see them but they're all flashing here's the USB port keep in mind there's a driver that needs to be loaded we're emulating uh, serial with this logger so there is a standard um, uh, driver that you'll need to load just once when you first purchase one of these lo new loggers new. Uh, if you buy subsequent loggers, you don't have to update the driver. You just need the driver on your computer. Uh, newer Mac computers include have that driver included. Windows uh, computers, Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10, they have to be. It has to be downloaded from the internet before you can communicate with the logger. And there's a video on YouTube and on our website that talks about how to do that. 
For unused holes in the cable gland, you can see we have several. We use these little plugs that come in this goodie bag. The plug is uh, tapered. You can see there's a skinny end and a fatter end. If you put a little bit of the uh, silicone grease on here, this goes a lot easier, but we recommend that you fill up those empty holes with these plugs. You can just slide them in the bottom and then pull, and they'll just fill up that hole nicely. And then we're all ready to go. The one other thing that I wanted to show you is, and it's got a very nice positive uh, latch on it. There is a lockable loop here, so you can lock this device if you uh, lock the door if you wish. In the back, there's a, a pressed in nut, and this is for the grounding kit. There's a grounding kit available, it's just a wire and a screw, and it's meant to give you the ability to ground the wire, ground the, the device to your tripod if you're using a wind speed sensor. It's recommended that you do that. Wind speed sensors are mechanical in nature, the ones that we sell anyway, and you, it could build up an electrostatic charge, so it needs a place to discharge that. So that's why it's important to ground this device if you're using those kinds of sensors.